We went over the rules in the dressing room. Keep this fight clean at all times. Protect yourself at all times. And what I say, you must obey. Good luck. Where does Fuente? Talk to him up. At the end of the day, the old warrior's Emmanuel. Don't forget how to fight. No, but I think he's in one a good young fighter than most of the top fighters. He still seems to be a pretty decent fighter. 18 KOs, that's the record. Uh, his three fights with Barrera, three fights with Pacquiao. Uh, here he is at 140 as a 35-year-old. Extraordinary will. What he reminded everyone of when he fought Maidana. Cano is longer. You can say, well, the guy has not had that much experience, but that doesn't mean that he can't fight. Especially when he just fought recently, as you pointed out, Larry. And he had less than two weeks to adjust. By Cano. Who is a naturally bigger man. Whether that counts time will remain to be seen. Which means that, you know, it's, uh, you can see his age, it's a lot of skin. Younger, you can see his body looks firm. Another hard left hook from Cano, and he just missed with a big right hand. And you heard Jose Morales asking his son between rounds, loosen up. You look tight in the first round. Hard right hand inside by Cano, landed flush. Stop Cano's right hand. This could be a long night for him. He has uh, shown that he could be. I agree because this, to me, it's not a good match to wait for him. He has to fight at, if he fights at this age, flesh. Starting to punch with a little bit more snap. Although you saw the jab from Cano knock him back there. There's another right hand lance for Cano. Starting to show the damage already from Cano's right hand. And this is what Morales could take control of the fight. In 58 professional fights, Eric Morales has only twice lost by knockout to a fellow named Pacquiao. A merit in their first fight with his brilliant jab. To make the best impression to get here, uh, you wonder if they made a mistake here. Replacement. Particularly left hook after Morales punches. Even at 35, Morales had a speed advantage against Marcos Maidana. He does not appear to have a speed advantage here tonight. statement on the increasing bankruptcy when Matisse was supposed to be the opponent and partially because of Morales's the governing body that's situated in Mexico decided that this would be a fight for a title belt if you give a title belt to the winner of this fight he's nowhere near the best 140 pound fighter in the world he's not even in the same discussion on the value of this quote title fight unquote uh, but again it just reminds us that Lord Mayweather no longer bothers with title belts. That's why this fight is for Victor Ortiz's title belt tonight. Uppercut for Cano. Cano is keeping his composure very good as Morales starts to step it up and punch at him. He's still firing right back. Morales is stepping it up and going for power punches here. But That helped him back into the fight. Reach Cano every time. I mean, you see that? Two rounds to one. Pablo Cesar Cano. To you is a sour spot. Good right hand by Morales. Yep. Eric. See something that looks like possible blood outside the left eye of Cano. Open to cut. I believe so. I don't, I've never Indeed. seen him, but and I think Cano begins right pawing at the left eye. As the blood is flowing now, Pablo Cano's left eye. And blood. Enraged and engaged. Well, we talked in the first fight about the disturbance that blood brings to some fighters and others seem able to ignore it. And if that cut was opened by Morales' right hand, that's a big score. It gives him a working base from which he can win the fight. That he's ever had to deal with that. Cano, even though he's a young fighter, he should have figured out some kind of way to neutralize that one punch, because that's the main punch that Morales has landed. 
16 power shots in the last round. Fourth round, he bolted to another level, partially because of that right hand that opened a cut. So you figure the 18 knockouts in 23, 24 fights. Body shots by Kano. He seems now to be getting his feet back on the ground after clearly having been bothered by the cut in the last round. And so those injuries may bother him going through the, as the fight goes on. Cut Pacquiao in their first fight. No controversy. Virtually every ringside expert agreed that night Morales had won the fight. Good hard right hand by Kano. He's got his game back. And he's outworking Eric Morales as he hammers him along the ropes. Morales doing a good job. Kano step back. <laughs> and while Kano was stepping back, Morales composed a combination in his head and then threw it. But he's doing exactly what he did in the fight with Barrera, which made him an exciting fighter. He, was. he rested up and he's cutting right back now with his, his own punches. Here we go. Here we go. We know that Morales can go to this tempo. Can Kano go there, there? Hard right hand. Good round. Kano is trained by Rudy Perez, who was the trainer for Marco Antonio Barrera all through the amazing. Hard right hand by Morales. I punch combination by Kano. Now Morales sticks his jab back into Kano's face and lands a solid left hook. Body shot for Morales with the jab. Usually aimed at setting up something upstairs, and he lands another solid left hook. Suddenly, Cano is dropping his right hand and getting painted by the left hook. What is your fight? He's going for the knockout tonight. And you But it's a low blow for Cano. Kenny Bayless was directly behind Morales and might not have seen it. Good left hook for Morales. Quick, short punches inside. Pacquiao. What was interesting when you were saying that... I've given three of them to Eric Morales. Everything except the fifth. Eric really stepped up the game with right hand. He's still not at fighting at the no, same no, no, pace. No, no, no. Uh, I mean, there's not much effective aggressiveness in this fight. Left, left eye, there. I should say. Left eye. Cano uh, has not down. came up with a good side of defense for the continuous right hand. But Cano is coming on right now with a burst of energy because he sees Morales bleeding. And now Morales is going to step in and try to defend himself and try to stem the tide. More interested and more bloody. To guide their fighters through the fight strategically are going to be working the cuts. Yeah, you have to really have your pattern set down to uh, have a good routine for that, but it's very difficult sometimes. It's hard to tell the details of the cut over Morales' left eye. But oh, this could oh, become a hold. war now. Blood won't stop Eric Morales. You never see him take a step back. His right eye was closed in the first round of that fight. And going into that fight, Jim. Hard right hand by Morales. Kano has not still come up with a defense to stop those right hands from Morales. Another right hand, right hand for right Morales. Right hand after right hand. He would take a lot of Morales' best weapon away from him because that's his main weapon. What a show. Look discouraged. Delible stamp on this. I know how to solve the problem. I'll fight. The idea of a good undercard is to... These are softballs from Kano now. He's not getting anything on these punches. And there he lands a big left. I'll break the tie. It was Morales. All right. <laughs> oh, he doesn't get in the same on him. He still gets hit with the same punch continually. To this kind of a bogus. But it's a hell of a fight, whatever it's called. Kano is landing more. And Morales is throwing the more effective shots. Has chosen his shots carefully and tried to make them count in the ninth round. How much vision he actually has. Morales, on the other hand, coming forward, landing hard right hands, and, and you know. Was telling Kano, you are losing the fight.
taking the steam out of his punches. That's right. Even when they both land the punch, I'm more impressed with Morales' punch than Cano because I don't see him age in the balance of Morales. He's just standing there taking the punches. Here's a, he did, all he did was change. Right if he hand. would box him and let After Morales miss Morales. completely, he would lose his balance, but he doesn't do that. And providing a target and a path toward victory for Eric Morales. Time in. Medical supervisor allows the fight to continue. When he came to the corner, don't blow your nose. There he did it. What's the effect of that? that it's, uh, you know, blow your nose, it makes your eyes swell up worse. If any swelling in the no, eyes no, no, would, would be no, aggravated no, no. if you blow your nose. So, okay, he can go ahead. And that's what he's being very careful. <laughs> Stopping it? Yeah, yeah. Rudy Perez asked Kenny Bayless to stop the fight. It's a good call. I was expecting to have a, some decision made in the next, the last two rounds. Here you see a powerful right hand coming straight through it. As I said, not rolling it, not stepping back, not going underneath it, just absorbing it. Brilliant the way Morales doubled up on the right hand there, doubling the damage to Kano's eye. And you can see, even as we watch in slow motion, how precipitously the blood began to flow after the double right hand. The winner by TKO victory. Now, once again, a world champion, Damas y Caballeros de la Zona Norte, Tijuana, Mexico, Eric.